making this um, video update, I preface everything with do not feel well. Started feeling like I have some kind of sinus pressure, something. Um, so I feel horrible. Feel like I look like hor I look horrible. <laughs> Um, but I also feel that, um, God wants me to give, do this update. Um, so, I guess this came out of, I don't know, this last week has, I've been doing a lot of ministering to people, um, and I think that's just probably the best Thing, I guess change in my life has been how much what God brings flows through me to others. I know this, I feel like it's so anticlimactic, I guess. Um, I don't know. It feels greater than what it sounds. <laughs> I know. I don't know if that sounds silly or not, but... I'm hearing myself say it, and it just doesn't sound like how I've been feeling. Um, I don't know that what what God is doing for my like in my life through me, and how I'm able to encourage and uplift and minister to others. Um, that's just been amazing really blows my mind um, the capacity that he has given me for others and um, to be able to really speak to others where they're at um, there's times where I will say something to someone really unassuming really not expecting like I don't feel like whoa God is moving, you know. <laughs> I don't feel like that, but um, the ooh, my air conditioner, um, the effect, the response, the <clears throat> response that they have to what God has done for them through what I've said um, is just so amazing. So. That has really been surprising to me about how good it feels. I know it's not about me, um, but it's just been so amazing, so refreshing um, to see God um, using <clears throat> what I'm going through um, for others. You know, it's funny, uh, just a few, man, I think it's a couple years ago, maybe a year and a half or so, I was listening to, um, it is Israel, Israel Houghton, 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 I'm not sure how to say his last name, um, but it's his CD and it's, um, a, really the whole thing is about love, about God's love and he has a song called Others and it just moved me at the time so much that that was the first time God ever spoke to me about how our lives are for others and I was dealing with um, my issues with relationships and friendships and um, and uh, I really just started to realize that uh, my life is for others and um, I was living it um, desiring to have great relationships but it was all really self-serving um, and that I needed to accept and um, live my life uh, <clears throat> knowing that it is for others that I grow and, and do things. And that sounds kind of like neglectful of myself, but I realized what God does is when he does something for me, it flows through me. It doesn't stay. It doesn't, um, the effect of it doesn't stop um, at me. It flows through me. Um, and that it goes for not just the things that God does, it goes for the things that um, we try to do to protect ourselves and um, the things uh, that we think about ourselves. It doesn't just stop at us. It flows through us um, and it affects others. 
Uh, so there is nothing that you can do, even if it's self-serving, uh, that stops at you. It, it flows through you. And it always touches and creates something in this physical world. Um, God is a creator and he has made us in his image and so we create and no matter what it is it goes through us and it creates something real and tangible and um, powerful um, here um, and outside of us so uh, I, I just think that um, what God is creating through me in this time um, right in front of me in a way that you know, I feel so blessed and honored to be the physical hands and the lips and tongue um, to what he's doing. Um, it's just very uh, humbling. Wow, it's very humbling. Um, and I don't even know if I have any other words to put to it. Uh, it's just, it's really... Um, outside of this world, um, phenomenal, you know, it's just the kind of existence that I just never thought I, um, could have, not one that I really think I knew existed, um, so, yeah, maybe that's what needed to come out, I was really, like, struggling, because I just do not feel good, and I just want to lay down, and I was like, Lord, do I have to make this video now, and, he just said that whatever the reason was um, that I needed to make the video would come out in the video. And I think that was it. Um, just to reflect on uh, and to encourage uh, <clears throat> people in this sense of, you know, there's you're building something and it's impacting others. And um, when you think about changing your life and, and what will God do for you, if you let go of the fear, and if you just let go of all of your desires, um, know that the greatest impact will be for others. And who are those others? You know, there are others that you do not know, you don't currently know yet. Um, but there are others that are sitting across from you right now. There are others that are in the next room. There are others that are um, around you all the time. And um, 20 years from now, what is that impact for what you're building now on their lives? You know, I just, I don't know. I think, I think God just wants you to think about that and consider that and, um, and to know that it's real and tangible, that you can change your life and it will just completely impact, um, the others that are around you. So I think that was it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, that you wanted me to share that. So I just encourage you all, have a great day. I am going to rest. Bye-bye. <laughs>